Women Rock Conference 2019, Saints. You know, when I think about that, I think about all the prayer that has gone into this conference, all the spiritual battles, all the people that have been involved in the different pieces of this conference, every person in their place, every person strategically called to be where they need to be. We have a whole new staff, we have a whole new team, we have so much new change, but yet so good because God wants to do something at this conference that I believe that we all needed to be here for and in the inner workings of it so that heaven can be preached through the word of God. And so I remember sitting in conference 2018 and the Lord gave me the word saints. It just went off of my spirit, man. And I was just like, wow, saints. Okay, what are you talking about, God? And he said, I want you to call the next conference saints. And I said, okay. And he's, I said, what verse? And he said, Ephesians 2.19. We in Women Rock Ministry every Thursday morning have been going through Ephesians line upon line, precept upon precept. We're studying who we are in Christ, what our authority is, um, the position that God has put us in. And so that verse was very relevant to me and I'll read it to you. It says, now therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. When I think about being a citizen of heaven and a citizen of a new family, I am now a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. That means that I am no longer who I used to be. I have to step into my sainthood and what God has asked me to be and who God has ordained me to be and who God has called me to be. But not just me, but we as the body. What is God asking of His church? I believe God is calling His church to an awakening. You see, God is ready to come back. He is on the edge and he is waiting for his people to call upon his name. I know that God wants to do something at this conference that's very unique. I so fought through so much emotion and so much even um, being lethargic in my thought process towards it. I found myself not passionate at times and not even wanting to pray and thinking, what is wrong with me? I've always been passionate about everything I put my heart into. If you know me, I'm like all in and I'm loyal to the core to something that God has given me. But for some reason, I was really stirred in my spirit, man, about what are you doing, God? What's happening here? So just last week, something hit me. I was in prayer. God gave me my message for the opener. The Lord began to minister some things in my heart that he wants to do some new things here at The Rock. He wants to do some new things as a church globally, that God is calling all Christians back to holiness and to his goodness and who we are. And I believe that the Lord said to me, he said, I haven't given you the deep passion that you normally carry throughout this journey because the message is too heavy for you to carry the whole time. It is now time for you to carry this message and when you deliver it, it will be birthed into something that is launching in to a new season of what I'm doing for my people on this earth. I believe women are the first to know about everything. We've been taught here at The Rock that, you know, we're the one that hears the cry of the baby first in the middle of the night. We're the ones that knew that we were pregnant before anyone else did. We're the ones that, that know just when something's not right with somebody, we pick up on that, we go, we go address it, and we take care of that person. Women just have that intuition. It's called the woman's intuition, right? I believe it's the Holy Spirit given to us, just those gifts and those talents and those things for us to take care of and to nurture our community and the people that God has put in our hand. And so we as saints here at the Rock Church and World Outreach Center, all of us, women, men, God has called us to love each other, to go big this year. I believe God wants to put a new capacity on us. He wants to take us to new levels that maybe we never thought we could go. He wants to take our prayer lives into new realms and new places that we never thought we would know how to pray for. I believe God is calling all of us that when we feel that we're not enough, guess what? The anointing of God is gonna hit us and it'll be more than enough because He is more than enough. Greater is He that is living in us than He that is in the world. And so girls, I want you to come out because heaven wants to speak to us. Heaven wants to speak something special and holy to us. And if you're not here, you're gonna miss out on what heaven wants to whisper to your heart. And so please come, make time. Don't let anything get you off kilter, off schedule. Don't let anyone change your opinion or your path, but know that you've got to set your face on the one on heaven. His name is Jesus and you've got to get there. You've got to do this because there's a cause and there's a reason for what we're doing.
We love being together, so let's gather, let's have fun. We're gonna laugh, we're gonna play. I know we're gonna cry. I watched the opening video, and I'm not kidding you, I was speechless. I had no words for what they put into a creative way, scripture and word and message of what God wants to speak to us. There is a special anointing on this time. So please come, please make time, please change your schedules and do what you gotta do to get here because God wants to speak to you. I love you, I can't wait to be with you. Let's see what he does in our hearts.